Okay, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're doing well. We're going to do a full moon reading. We had a full moon in Cancer that's happening right now. It started last night. Let's see what this full moon has in store for our collective, shall we? How do you want to start out this reading, Spirit? What's true about you? Okay. Spirit well, wants you to know what's true about you during this full moon. Alright, what's true about this collective spirit? What's true about this collective? Today I will not rush. I will not hurry. I will not run. Today I will walk with God. So, Spirit is encouraging you... To not run, to take it slow, to take it slow, take it easy, and don't be in a rush. Just take it easy. All right. What else, Spirit? What would the Instant Magic Oracle say to the collective? Instant Magic Oracle, may I access your wisdom? What message do you have for our collective today? Practice complete compassion towards everyone for the next 24 hours. So there's something in your life that you need to practice compassion about. And Spirit is saying, practice it towards everybody for the next 24 hours. Maybe you have a resentment towards somebody. Maybe you're having a hard time with showing compassion towards others. All right, what kind of virtues are you working on in this collective spirit? Patience, integrity, Ooh. perseverance, and obedience. So you're not, you're not giving up. You're going to keep trying this month. You're going to keep trying. You're going to be patient, and you're going to have integrity. And you're going to do what you're told by those in authority. Okay, I just got my scrying bowl refilled. Let's see what prayer would come out for us. We have to have integrity, patience, obedience, and perseverance. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Alright, so... We have to practice acceptance. Acceptance is the key. Really, it is. Accepting the way things are. For some reason, we have to accept the way things are. I'm here to use the blue deck. I'm here using the energy oracle also. Let's look at the energy oracle. What would the energy oracle suggest? There's a journey, and your community is here. You might want to go somewhere and hang out with friends. Go to a party, maybe. The Angel of Balance and Community. So there's balance in your community, in your friend group, possibly. Or this could be a third party thing. And the Angel of Balance in your heart chakra. So there's something going on in your heart chakra. Alright, so what are you trying to say to this collective? <clears throat> the door to spirit is here, but it's in reverse. Cutting at that angel of balance and anxiety. The door to spirit is here with anxiety. Why are you anxious about the door to spirit? Why are we anxious about the door to spirit? How can I find out? Alright, Spirit said to use the blue deck to pull overall to roll energy. Alright, Spirit, may I see how you're working in this collective? Truth and stand your ground. Well, you have to speak the truth and stand your ground, and it might have to do with your religious beliefs, spiritual strength, and stand your ground. Maybe you feel like you're not, somehow you're not 
trust in God and it's causing you anxiety. There's something happening in your life and you feel like you can't trust God. There you have a movement, choices, and decisions to make and you have to stand your ground. Alright, let's see how Spirit's working in this collective. How are you working in the collective during this full moon in Cancer? Material and spiritual prosperity. Material and spiritual prosperity. All right, what's the what's the energy to overcome? Transformation. You're going through a change. Spiritually, you're going through a transformation. Okay, and how do we pull this together? You're going to talk to somebody about having a foundation and achievements. The Four of Wands is here. You're, you're thinking, you're transforming. It's like, it feels like to me that there's somebody in your life that you look up to that you want to have a relationship with. But you feel like they're much more spiritual than you are. Like they're super spiritual for some reason. Nobody's super spiritual. And then we have accelerated motion, the Eight of Wands in reverse. So it's like coming back. A lot of motion moving back. You might have a desire to come back somewhere. There's a planetary alignment involved in this as well. It's going to happen in divine timing. Alright, so let's take out... The transformation card is the Scorpio, the death card. You're going through... what The energy to overcome is this transformation. You gotta this the transformation that's happening in your life right now. You can either you can either fight against it or you can surrender to it. So I suggest surrendering to it because the door to spirit is a beautiful thing once you get through it. Let's let's read what it's about when it's in the reverse. Number thirty two. When this card is reversed, you may find yourself feeling an extreme disconnect. It seems your intuition is failing and you can't maintain the peaceful moments you are longing for. You may be too distracted by worldly matters or personal problems to arrive at and enjoy the deeper sense of your spiritual connection. The paradox is that the more you can let go of the drama and distractions, or intense emotions, the more spiritual peace will bring your solutions for these issues. So relax and let go. Meditate on your soul self, your higher self that resides in your own heart center. Allow that connection to grow and find that many new doors will open as a result. So you're fighting against a spiritual transformation somehow. And the way that you're going to overcome this is you're going to talk to somebody about a relationship. What, and you're anxious about it. You have a lot of anxiety about having this conversation. And it has to do with not giving up, being patient, having integrity, and doing what you're told. By those in authority. Let's see what kind of healing we need in this collective. What kind of healing do we need in this collective spirit? Lust and being a coward. Fear. Lust and fear. Being a coward. Being afraid to speak up. Disillusion and coward. Oh, 
few of them pull out. Cowardly, lust, superficial, and faithless. All right, we're going to shuffle one more time, and then we're going to see what healing we need in this collective. <coughs> Repelled and disillusioned. So it's like, you know, everybody has to Can you get it? You need help? You need help? No, thanks. Okay. What kind of healing do we need in this collective? Somebody's been misguided. Some of us are being misguided and not taking action. Somebody's been guided in the wrong direction and some of us are not taking action at all. I'm hearing that one more time. Ooh, somebody wants revenge. Somebody's very vengeful and wants revenge. And they're in a lot of pain. They want revenge because of the pain that's been caused to them. And forceful in reverse. So you're not speaking up. You're not being forceful enough when it comes to speaking up. All right, I'm going to leave it there. That's the healing that's needed in this collective during this full moon. If somebody's misguided, you know if you've been misguided, you know who you are. You're in a lot of pain, and you've got a lot of vengeful revenge. You want revenge. You really want revenge. See that? Somebody's hurt you. You're in pain, and it, there's somebody who's been misguided. Alright, let's see what what kind of healing do we need out of here when it comes to this cancer full moon. We also need healing in our love life. So I'm going to put this over here because I think that's what you need to talk to this person about. And selling out. Selling out. What do we need to know to have our dreams to come true? To have our dreams to be fulfilled. What do we need to know as a collective? To get our dreams to come true. Good strong answers only, please. What would you need to give up in order to achieve your dream? Because there may be something you need to give up. Close your eyes and think about your dream being alive and real. How do you feel? Cherish this feeling and keep it as your compass to follow. And if you live like you've always lived, you'll get the same as you've always gotten. You must decide to make a change towards your dreams. Decide on what you need to change and you will be rewarded with a new sense of achievement. Alright, what kind of spiritual gifts are operating in this collective? Some of you are gifted with numbers, and some of you have jobs. You're going to have jobs. That's your spiritual gifts that are operating. Jobs and numbers. And the mirror. Seeing yourself in that mirror. Some cards turn around. Oh, well. We'll fix them if they come out. I don't think they want to, though. All right. So, what else do we want to know here, Spirit? Did we pull energy oracle? Yep. Anxiety came out and door to Spirit in reverse. All right. Well, I want to find out what it is you want to say to this person. What is it that they want to say to this person? Their throat chakra is closed. Then it's your choice. They're realizing that somebody has a choice. Maybe that they have a choice. There's been a lot of drama. They're realizing there's a lot of drama. They want to talk to you about drama and 
arrogance. You realize he's Hillary's arrogance. And I thought you were all being arrogant. Alright, what do they want to talk to them about, Spirit? They want to talk to you about being a player. Somebody is a player, and they're playing the field. They're keeping an emotional distance, and they're playing the field. That's what they want to talk to you about, is that they want to keep their distance emotionally from this and play the field. What else do they want to talk to them about that they've been escaping Using drugs or alcohol to escape. Alright. What else? They will call and you are haunted. You're haunted by something. You want to talk to this person about they will call. What about they will call? They will call and you'll have an opportunity to talk to them. But it's like it gets all stuck in your head and it won't come out of your mouth. And it's causing your love or you have a dying love. And you have, there's no escaping because you have these differences. It's like it's all in your head but, and it's causing your love to die. And there was a song that came through that talked about this. And it was, um, What Hurts the Most by Rascal Flats is watching you walk away, knowing there was so much to say. That's what hurts the most. It's like everything is in your head. You know you've been a player. You know you've been escaping. But you, know, but you also know that this person is going to call you and you want to talk to them about this because you know that it's killing your love. There's differences here. What are the differences? Something came out of the wrong deck. The differences is divorce and having other options. When it, The money card came out. It's like divorce in reverse and other options. Maybe you want to talk to this person about other options besides divorce. Or maybe you want to talk to this person and say, you know, there are, I have other options and I want to, I want to divorce you. Clarify this divorce and the other op, what's the other options? You're having an epiphany, or you're about to, that somebody is going to have to make you prove it. And it's keeping them up at night. It's like, it's time for me to show this person how I really feel. That's, that's what the difference <clears throat> is. One of you is very um, open to your feelings about the relationship and the other one stays closed. Why are they haunted? Because of having a secret love and having to apologize. It has to do with a, a, an apology you should have made about a secret love and maybe you never could make it feel desperate. What's going to be the outcome of this conversation? Wow. I have somebody made a mistake by having a love triangle. There's, there's been a lot of drama over this. 
somebody was very arrogant and this was your choice it was your choice or it's your choice if you want to let them go there's been denial about this also you realize that you've been in denial about this and now you're worried because this happened how does the other person feel the other person feels like you or they or both this relationship is incomparable you have a choice to let them go. But they're, they're in a situation where they're like, okay, I've done everything I'm going to do in this relationship. You first. You know where to find me. You know my, you know where I live. You know my phone number. You know how to get up with me. This, this is incomparable to any relationship that I've ever had. And I will never, and it even says that in one of the songs that came through, that I will look. For someone else like you. I wish I could remember the name of that song. All I want is you. All I want is you. I'll look for someone that's just like you. They know that this, there's never going to be another relationship like this. This is like a once in a lifetime relationship. You're realizing this. Being in denial about it, though, because you've been using escapism and being, you've been playing games, essentially. Somebody's hard to read, and they weren't worried about this, and it caused them to lose somebody important to them. Or at least, some, I think this person is still, let's find out. Show me how this person truly feels, the one that got, um... They got hurt here. <laughs> the chase came out. Clarify chase. Oh my god. They want to chase this spiritual connection. They want to apologize because there's a lot of chemistry. And you made them a promise. What might be the outcome? You're also reflecting. You're mirroring one another. What might be the outcome? This is either a, a very strong karmic relationship. A twin flame or soulmate. It could be a twin flame. Somebody's been very dishonest, dishonest and tricky. We see that over here. What's going to be the outcome in the next month in this relationship? Somebody's going to set boundaries when it comes to intimacy. They've decided no more intimacy. I'm not going to lose this person. All right, show me where the collective is in this situation. You're very creative and you are inspiring this person and the divine timing is already involved all right show me where the collective is in this situation where is the collective here this transformation you're going through a transformation all right where's their person their person no longer feels like a victim. They they felt the vibes of being a victim. They're not they're not feeling that anymore because they've stopped caring about this relationship romantically. They're like, I'm giving this to you, Spirit. I'm gonna allow you to handle this because I'm setting boundaries when it comes to, or somebody is. What's connecting this in the next month? Divine, fam Divine Feminine and Being Family. That's what's connecting it. Lessons and Twin Flame. I cannot make this up. Let's talk about the lessons. What have been the lessons? 
being released and making a decision. Alright, what do you mean? Setting those boundaries and backing off. Putting away the computer because this is true love. Alright, anything else? Oh, the card came out of the wrong deck. There's going to be a spiritual, there's a second chance because of a spiritual lesson and somebody who's going to trust. You're on the same team. You're going to have time apart, but they're going to, there's going to be healing. And somebody's on different pages now. Anything you can give us about the different pages? Somebody's just awakening to the fact that they they were on different pages and that there was rejection. There's children and finances here. Alrighty then, let's see what the angels would say. Angels, what would you say about this situation? How are you helping us? Purity, there's, that's the boundary that's being set. There's going to be miracles. You remember that strictly sexual that kept coming out? Somebody's finally set boundaries. Vision is here. You're going to see the truth. You're going to have harmony. And you're going to realize how handsome or beautiful you are. And there's going to be forgiveness. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Alright, what, what, what's going to happen with our money during this full moon spirit? You're going to have a strategy for your stability. Your stability, you're not going to tell anybody either. Alright, what's going to happen with our money in this way? There's something retail. Something, something you're going to sell. Okay. Or buy retail. You might work in retail. Somebody here is a rebel. And they're going to be a helper. And there's going to be a shift. Clarify the shift in the helper. It has to do with managing your money better. Taking a risk. When it comes to rescuing and being patient. Clarify outcome of all of this. You're activating new gifts. Your emotions are here. You're unreliable. And somebody is an unreliable crafter. You're, you're being activated and you have new gifts. If you're feeling real emotional, it's because your gifts are being activated. And you're surrendering to this change, this transformation. And it's something unreliable about crafting. I'm not sure what crafting is for you. You could literally be crafting. What's going to be the outcome of the unreliable crafter? They're going to have a loss. And beauty is here. not going to the next level what can they do to turn that around anything your soul tribe is here your home is here and science is here clarify science it has to do with some mistakes with charity Being a sport or playing sports, your health, being an artist and a writer, you're crafting something, but you made mistakes when it came to your charity, being a sport and your health, and you're an artist and a writer, outcome of artist and writer. There's going to be, the office is going to have a windfall, and you're going to design something 
and you're undecided and there's going to be a conflict. Clarify the conflict. It has to do with whoever came up with this idea that caused this windfall. Clarify windfall. It's a surprise. It's, in, it's a surprise investment. And it's going to put you on the right path. Show me the outcome of the thing that I have in mind right now, Spirit. Next level. And celebration. I'll take it. I'll take it, Spirit. I'll take it. All right. All right, let's get one of these just for the fun of it. Spirit said, not today you don't. Today you've got your sacred rebels. You need to do your sacred rebels something. All right, one card, please, for my beautiful sacred rebels. Beautiful, thank you. Going beyond normal. Somebody's definitely into doing something with buttons. And shock of the new. We're going to read... Maybe a little of both. Let's see. We might not read the whole thing. Number 14. Going beyond normal. On the path of life, there are deciding moments where we can choose to go with the mainstream or we can dare to take a bolder, more authentic and trusting way. Even if it seems riskier or less safe, rely solely on logic and to rely solely on logic and science without incorporating the mysterious and magical is a recipe for an existence that is far too dry. The sacred rebel within our hearts will always choose a juicier approach to life. You are currently approaching such a choice point. You could say that the choice is about balance. It is less about choosing to honor either art or science, gardening or agriculture, and more about integrating all approaches so that you enhance rather than hinder your life journey. Placing science or agriculture or architecture above all else kills off the reflection kills off the rebellious heart steadfastly relying on logic proof and a complete set of plans to measure and dictate outcomes will suffocate the soul Bas basing decisions on limited factors with an imbalanced measure of success and unnecessarily is unnecessarily limiting this approach prevents us from living freely, spontaneously, and with trust so that we can rebel against the need for things to go strictly according to plan. Choose to value decisions based on passion and instinct and trust the life enough, trust life enough to embrace it as an adventure and let it unfold as it will. There is a time and a place for logic, strategy, planning, measurable outcomes. These are not bad tools to have, but we must be vigilant not to worship them or allow them to squash our less rational but equally valuable decision-making tools. Intuition, feelings, and those things you know without knowing how you know them. The flowing inspirational energy of the heart may have no conceivable basic in, basis in logical reason and still be uncannily accurate. To remain rebellious, we must not sacrifice the art of emotion, instinct, passion, and intuition for the science of logic and strict planning. On the other hand, gardening and art do provide us with a plan, albeit more loosely held. This plan still requires us to set aside time to draw upon reliable methods and to prepare with certain tools. However, there is also a healthy dose of original flow, responsiveness, and trust in the creative process of bringing something to life. This leads to the cultivation of the most beautiful, abundant, and successful garden and the most vivid healing art. You are being asked to stay open to the in intuitive approach in your life and your work. 
your creativity as well as in your spiritual journey. The intuitive approach can be likened to the method of a gardener or an artist. There is a sense of what might work where and loose to even and there is a sense of what might work where and lose or even detail plan but how the plan is carried out will depend on and respond to the flow of the surroundings there is no need to control the situation but rather a desire to nurture an idea to fruition you may have pressures around you from the world or from your own conditional nature to do things according to the rules, to a deadline, or to the accepted mainstream view. What you need, a well, what you need is a well thought out plan for success in a commercial venue. However, sometimes the best plan is to do what feels intuitively trustful in the moment and to trust that you are being led towards your own growth. Adopting this approach means you have to do far less planning and far more living. It is the pure and heart-centered way to manifest your art, your life path, and the essence into practical expression in the world. It involves a willingness to be led by nature instead of trying to control the powerful force of life, which is a bit like trying to fit a powerful ocean in a teacup. It is far more intelligent to allow the ocean to be the ocean and to learn to swim in it rather than trying to cram that ocean into a vessel that is much too small. This oracle brings you a special piece of guidance. You are moving outside of the plan. You are living on the border of what is socially accepted. This is good. This is fringe dwelling freedom. Others might not see that about you right away. Always, any might not see that about you. Others might not see that about you straight away, as you seem pretty normal. But that sacred eccentric streak is just waiting to show itself. And maybe you are an out and proud fringe dweller, completely comfortable with this way of being. Either way, the oracle brings you the message that you, are, you now have a chance to live from the heart more deeply and expressively than ever before. It, it wants you to realize that this is the legitimate, empowered, and creative way to live that honors all of who you are. You can give up forcing or squashing yourself down into a very limited set of so-called desirable qualities like intellect and control. If, they are, if you are not yet to relate to this consciously, this oracle brings you the further message that you are going to be breaking with tradition. Perhaps not entirely, but at least in a way that is meaningful to you. You will require, it will require you to have courage in your convictions and faith in your heart truth. This will help you and inspire others around you to step out of the fear and live more freely and lovingly. You are not necessarily meant to abandon logic and intellect altogether. You are to use them to serve the desires of the heart rather than to replace its natural, spontaneous, and truthful nature. With controlled planning and narrow, narrow strategy, it's time to get a bit wild and let nature take its course. Healing process, say aloud. I now call on unconditional love and ask for the blessings of the heart to be witnessed and sanctioned by the great universal creator so that I may rise above small-mindedness and use the best of what human culture has to offer in service to love through my own free will so be it visualize or imagine the feeling of being a most gorgeous garden it might be well manicured a little bit wild or wildly overgrown jungle just notice it 
Notice how all the plants work together and how it is supported by nature and the seasons. Notice that while some things thrive, others fall away, only to shift again with the seasons. There is such organizational genius. Say, may the wisdom and guiding hand of the great gardener who works with unconditional love, nurture and garden my soul into magnificence. I dare to live creatively from my heart and thrive. Finish your healing process by sitting quietly, dancing wildly, or doing a spot of gardening, whatever feels good. Who are you talking to? G T U N K H Z nine nine D S H H C B X eleven W S O Z V H L three twelve P V A twelve again number F F letter F Q V L W S Q R one. One more time. E O Y H T Q F seven. All right. May I have trinkets, please? For this woman we can't All right. I got an elephant, a bee for something legal, dream, hope, trust, love. Live, love, and laugh. I can. And given one conception, we, we, we ourselves create another. Somebody's a card reader. There's a hand here. I have a coin with crown on both sides. You might drink crown oil. I have a heart with wings with a keyhole. So somebody's got to have the key to your heart. Your heart's locked. I have two red marbles, two, an infinity sign. This is about abundance of everything being connected. Your name could be infinity, a feather, and I love you to the moon and back. Moonology. Why did I say moonology? Let's see what message Moonology might have right quick for us. Message from Moonology Spirit. Thank you. Trust all will be well and let your fears dissolve. Those anxieties, remember? And work through your feelings. Work through your feelings. Alright, that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if it resonated with you by giving it a thumbs up. If you, if either of the people who wanted the private reading still want them, I'm willing to do that for you anytime this weekend while I'm off work. I love you guys. I love, 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 love you. If you need anything, just reach out. All right, take it easy. Bye.